Welcome to another AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. We'll address a basic drilling fluids concept to help you tackle far more complex problems later. In this tip, we'll talk about the low ECD fluids that revolutionize deep water drilling. They're commonly referred to as clay-free, low clay, flat rheology, or fragile gel systems. No matter what you call them, the concept is the same. Minimize variations in viscosity across a broad temperature gradient. The challenges of deep water drilling are complicated by narrow ECD windows due to lower overburden density. This increases the risk of losses and may require extra casing strings. As you drill at deeper water depths, drilling fluid is exposed to cold temperatures for long periods of time as it passes through the riser. With this, the fluid thickens, increasing circulating pressures. In the narrow fracture gradients typically found in deep water, the higher equivalent circulating density and surge pressures mean a greater risk for losses. To minimize these risks, a desirable drilling fluid rheology profile remains flat or consistent across a broad temperature range. Gels break easily to minimize pressures when circulation is initiated. The first efforts to minimize thickening of fluid utilized a thermally activated thinner that only acted at cold temperature. From there, systems evolved to address consistency at high temperatures as well. Thermally responsive viscosifiers and thinners perform through various mechanisms. This could be a polymer surfactant that may form a network and then shrink or expand under certain temperature conditions to provide viscosity. Many of these additives act on the solids present to generate this network. The term low clay or clay-free system is related to the idea that traditional organophilic clays increase gel progression with thermal variation, so they're minimized or eliminated from the system in place of these polymers and surfactant materials. Initially, many clay-free systems were prone to sag, but newer additives seem to have addressed the issue. The technical definition of low ECD systems is highly subjective. That being said, there are some published specifications from one operator used to define properties required. In most cases, rheology is recorded at three different temperatures with a low temperature at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, a high temperature at 120 or 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and another temperature in between. In this example, plastic viscosity at 40 degrees Fahrenheit must be less than two and a half times the plastic viscosity at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The 10 minute gel must be less than 1.7 times the 10 second gel. The 30 minute gel must be less than 1.3 times the 10 minute gel. And all gels at 40 degrees Fahrenheit must be less than 1.2 times the same reading at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. A key consideration for the rheological profile of a system depends on the base oil. In deep water, many base oils are selected for their inherent low viscosity to maximize the ECD reduction. In land applications, oils such as diesel have an inherently high viscosity, and there are few cost-effective alternatives. Here is a comparison of kinematic viscosity of several oils used in deep water applications versus diesel. Diesel viscosity can vary across a broad range depending on the refinery and the grade. Many misconceptions about the benefits of these systems surround their use on land. While low ECD systems offer improved fluid properties, Many of those benefits rely on thermal variations not present in typical unconventional wells. For the most part, these systems maintain a reasonably consistent profile from about 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and then thin a bit with higher temperatures at, at ambient pressure. The desired rheological profile requires a considerable amount of maintenance. Many of the viscosifying additives act upon drilled solids, and above about 10% low gravity solids, it becomes challenging to maintain these properties. In a deep water well with a large circulating volume and a high spread cost, this isn't much of an issue. On land, many drilling fluids are stretched to their technical and economic limit. Excess dilution is seldom a cost-effective option, so these systems begin to demonstrate properties quite similar to conventional systems and the benefits are lost. Worse yet, high solids accumulation may result in elevated gelation, which can only be addressed through dilution as most low ECD system viscosifiers do not readily shear degrade. Low ECD muds do perform better in most sag tests, including the viscometer sag shoe test shown. However, this test must be weighed against the actual frequency of sag incidents and the risk, which is also a factor of other drilling activities such as logging. Hole cleaning is primarily a function of turbulence to convey cuttings, along with pipe rotation. Low shear rate viscosity plays a role in suspension, but this is difficult to demonstrate with most modeling software, and the field results vary. When properties are maintained, lower pump pressures are achievable, but a reduction in plastic viscosity of a couple of points is nowhere near the benefits of what you would see in deep water because of the limited variation in thermal gradient, particularly at low temperatures. One land application where limiting organophilic clay can offer a benefit is when encountering a water flow. The chemistry of systems with limited clay additions do offer greater tolerance to influxes. 
This can buy time to wait up and treat the system, but no invert emulsion system is immune to the impact of a water flow. Many of the longest wells in the world have been drilled using conventional invert emulsion systems. In deep water applications, low ECD systems are now an industry standard. No matter the task, when we engineer a well properly, we can identify the most beneficial solution among all the options before us. In many cases, proper design work and maintenance will deliver great benefits at the lowest cost. In others, new technology can deliver the next step in tackling complex challenges. That concludes this AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. Stay tuned for the next one, and if you want to learn more, have a listen to the Flowline, our podcast. And if you want to improve your drilling fluid performance, please reach out to us at AES Drilling Fluids where better fluids do equal better wells.